to Kana Tourism and Cultural Festival, Tobong Lore, was initiated by the county government of Turkana as a flagship community project, as a deliberate strategy to promote Turkana's rich cultural heritage, enhance social economic empowerment, and cultural tourism. The need to start Tobong Lore was first to be able to preserve culture, and to be able to bring peace within families. When young and the old get to celebrate, they come together. And then also communities within Turkana, either south, north, central. When they meet together and celebrate, they are able to coexist. <laughs> This community cultural and tourism festival is a major platform for stimulating creativity for the development of the creative cultural industries, performances, exhibitions, business tourism, and tourism excursions to famous archaeological sites, monuments, and antiquities. We had to use this opportunity to promote Turkana as a tourist destination. And so far now, we have Turkana as the third uh, destination for most Kenyans or tourists who want to visit the country. And that is something good. We also wanted to, to promote creative arts, let the young people have a platform to be able to perform. <laughs> The Bongu Lore Festival is an opportunity for the community to demonstrate the richness of her culture and at the same time to experience and appreciate the cultures of others. That all the sectors of government must leverage on the strengths and, and opportunities that culture presents in, in this region particularly within the context of the article uh, cluster. Because you're talking of a region which is essentially pastoralist with uh, common, uh, real, so many common uh, similarities than differences. The highlight of the festival revolves around performances of music, dance, poetry, theater, drama, elocution, games, sports exhibitions of visual arts such as sculptures, ceramics, drawings, paintings, traditional architecture, crafts, textile works, and basketry. Traditional medicines, traditional attire, etc. It was strange to see a young person dressed traditionally. We would say the, the traditions are for the old people. The, those we call raya, you know, the ones in the interior. But now we are seeing young people embrace more the cultural uh, dressing, the cultural practices. A lot of new traditional marriages are happening from people who have gone to school. And this is something positive that has come from Tobonglore. We've been able to intrinsically transfer culture from one generation to the next. And we will continue doing that so that the young will be able to learn from the old and be able to propagate that culture to the next generation. The underlying objective of the festival, therefore, has been and always will be the promotion and integration of social cohesion and peace building through fostering intercultural dialogue for sustainable cultural development. The festival is something that many communities within the region have uh, admired and have replicated and the effects of these festivals are bonding bonding together of communities that uh, have had conflicts 
So there's no time now for conflict, but there's time for talking about peace, for peaceful coexistence, societal cohesion, integration of uh, communities we are living with. Uh, we had uh, communities drawn from Uganda, the districts of Moroto, Kotido, Kabong, and as far interior of Uganda, the Iteso. From South Sudan, we have had uh, the Kapoeta uh, region, uh, basically the Toposa community, uh, equally uh, attending this event. In Ethiopia, we've had the Dasanats and the Nyangatom. This event has pacified uh, the borderlands of Kenya, Uganda, Kenya, Ethiopia, Kenya, South Sudan. is to promote peace because district five counties they fight one another especially for Port and Turkana. So we see that promoting our culture through making beats for us coming together as women we feel that we can achieve peace. That is our main objective. We must resolve this issue internationally. And that's when we are going to get everlasting peace when all of us, we are free to move freely into and out of etiquette without weapon. I would like to appreciate the initiatives of His Excellency, the Governor of Turkana, for initiating this attacker at this table. That bringing now the attacker together and this, of course, has been mentioned that have reduced the tensions and the conflicts. Due to ignorance of the that they have been fighting among themselves. That is what we want in the borders of this county with their brothers in West Pokot, with their brothers in Baringo, in Samburu, in Toposa on this side, in the border with our friends in uh, Uganda and Ethiopia and South Sudan. We want to live together in accordance with the words of the Bible, in unity and in harmony and in peace. Nataka kutumia culture hi na hii community ya Atekel tuunganishe na community zingine ndio tuweze kuwa na amani ndio ile kazi ya muhimu ya kusambaza maendeleo iweze kufaulu na ndipo mimi nimefurahi hapa na nawashukuru viongozi wa Turkana mimi nimekubali na nimefurahi ya kwamba viongozi sasa wote wa Turkana wafanye kazi pamoja vile tunafanya kazi na viongozi wengine wote wa taifa letu la Kenya The festival will create investment opportunities businesses revitalization preservation and safeguarding of Turkana's people cultural heritage and market Turkana County as a world class tourism and heritage destination The Turkana Cultural Festival is one of the marketing platforms for our county. And uh, I will encourage that every person who lives in Trukana or even out, outside Trukana who can identify with, with this festival has, is free to market to Bunglore wherever he is and in whichever way he can. Uh, I mean, that will help us to to, to get to whoever is not even aware we have the festival. We wanted also to rally communities back home. We want to promote Turkana as the origin of mankind. And that is the core. When you see Tobonglore, it means welcome back home. We rally communities to come back home, all over the world. 
either whites or Kenyans, we tell them to come back and greet their ancestors. And this is the base of our promotion of Turkana as a tourist destination. Turkana County is dotted with both natural and cultural heritage dating back to pre-colonial and post-colonial era. The county government has entered into a mutual partnership with the national government to list Tobongu Lore in the national calendar of cultural events. Sherehi sio sherehe ya Turkana County. Hii sherehe ni sherehe ya taifa lote la Kenya. Kwa sababu the cradle of mankind where the human race began is here in Turkana. And it is because of that reason that when we welcome all our visitors from Europe, from Asia, from America, from every other continent including Australia, when they come to Kenya, we tell them, welcome home. And when they come to Turkana, we say, Tobong Lore. This will in essence act as a basis of inscription of the Tobongu Lore onto UNESCO's Convention for the Safeguarding of Intangible Cultural Heritage. Turkana County is a tapestry of cultures and ecosystems. It is a drumbeat in the heart of Kenya a beautiful place that has potential, and although it had largely been untapped, Turkana culture is now coming out in its full beauty. It's like a Cinderella who's been neglected, given rags to wear, riches, and expose. Turkana is now a central focus for both local and international investors since oil was discovered in the region. It is also attracting other investors, not just in energy, but also in other sectors like tourism and agriculture. Opportunities for investment are enormous, either in areas of minerals. Of course, there are a lot of minerals here that much has, little has been done in terms of developing them. It's only small scale uh, uh, artisans who, who do the, the mining. So those are areas but its areas of hospitality in tourism still has a lot of opportunities. Turkana is the cradle of mankind. It also refers to the fact that Turkana is the origin of mankind, and so the land is welcoming all the people back to their home. <coughs> Our Tukana people are very kind, visitors are welcomed with uh, good things, food, water, and are given a place to sit before he is asked where he has come from and all those. Ni ku kumbusha wale vijana wetu wamepotea wale watoto wetu wamepotea kwa kimila ya kuturukana tuonyeshe kuwa tamaduni ya kwetu pi inafanya hivi kwa mpano ndio hii umeona sisi tukikila kichwa ya kondo na mbusi maana yake wanawake uchinjiwa na bwana yake kondo pale kwa boma Sisi tunakaa nje tukingojea kichwa ya kondoo ama ya mbusi. Tunawaita marafiki majirani. Wale wanaume sio wanawake. Kama kuna wanawake karibu. Kila mzee 
anaeta mwanamke ya rafiki yake aoi bwa the turkana people have so much to offer to the world which is what we are beginning to understand as they have begun to own their own culture and use their unique traits to their advantage every year every time we celebrate this event at least a minimum of 10,000 people participate and 10,000 we mean these are guests who come to Lodwa to enjoy the culture and, and, and so many activities that relate to the event. It has equally contributed to the socio-economic uh, growth of this county. <laughs> Turkana County's first tourism and cultural festival was held on August 2014 at Kanam Kemer Primary School. The event was dubbed Tobongu Lore 2014, which means welcome home. For us, we are celebrating twice. One, from archaeological research, it is now established fact that life began here. So we are so happy to be back home, worldwide. The second thing is that when we moved away from here, how did we come a second time before the colonialists arrived here? The Cultural Festival is an initiative of the county of Turkana to promote Turkana's rich culture. Most of the communities which are bordering Turkana share about 80% of Atakar culture. So when these communities are invited, they come to celebrate a culture they are conversant with, their own culture, Atakar culture. We share the same language, we share the same dress, we share foods, norms, everything, even music. The Atakar communities are bound together by culture dance and showcase their various culture aspects. It is an initiative of the Department of Culture in collaboration with the Department of Tourism. This was a creative play of words on the fact that Turkana is the said origin of mankind. Tobong Lore not only celebrates the living heritage and culture of the Turkana people, but it's a vehicle for creating community bonds. It acts as a peace tool that promotes harmony and cohesion among the Atiker communities, neighboring countries, and the larger Kenyan society. This festival also gives us an opportunity to celebrate as people living with each other the peace that we have so far. We use this festival also to be able to bring that peaceful reconciliation among us, neighbors that have been quarreling and fighting over cattle, over livestock, but also over boundaries. So this provides us an opportunity of identifying ourselves as one people. It allows visitors all over the world a grand opportunity to visit and enjoy Turkana land. The festival also acts as a tourism attraction, and it is hoped that the festival will attract both cultural and business tourists to see what is available in Turkana thereby enhancing socio-economic empowerment in the region. Those who are interested in archaeology will want to come and visit the site where the, the boy was discovered. And of course there are other sites like uh, Losagam along this side of Kerio where there is still excavation going on, archaeological discoveries are being done. We want to utilize this platform to utilize this platform to be able to bring the local people, to rally them around development, to rally them around the new economy. For Tugana, an, a county that is now experiencing the extractive industry, 
Oil is soon going to be extracted to be sold. Minerals are also going to be done the same. This gives us the opportunity for being to running people to see to diversify their own economy and be able even to do more business, think about more growing of this economy. So, and, 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 and this is the best way of bringing people together. During the fourth festival in 2018, specifically, the festival had a variety of cultural activities, including traditional dances and beauty pageants, among others. On the first day, First Lady Margaret Kenyatta graced the event, accompanied by Turkana Governor Josphat Nano. My colleagues present today, Governor Tommy Joki of Tarakaniti County, Governor Tolkos, of Elgeo Maraquet County, Governor Kiptis of Baringo County, Governor Lonyamapuo of West Pokot County, Mojore, Governor of the neighboring Apoeta State in Republic of South Sudan, Minister John Biagambi, Minister of Karamojong Affairs, the Republic of Uganda, members of parliament present, the Senator Trukana, speakers of county assemblies, members of county assemblies, all other delegations that have joined us, including the First Ladies, Makueni, Kisumu, First Lady Trukana, Na wanaishi wote ambaye mumekuja katika chamacha hii hamjamboni hamjambo tena na ungana nanyi pamoja kumkaribisha mama wa taifa Margaret Kenyatta ambaye amepata muda kuja kuungana nasi katika chamacha hii tunayoifanya kila mwaka hii ni mara ya nne tuweze kufanya tamacha hii tangu tuanze na ninafurahi zaidi tukiungana na majirani wetu from the neighboring countries majirani wetu from counties within the country but more so the our colleagues from national government and particularly her Excellency Margaret Kenyatta being here to grace this occasion. It is not only staged to showcase to Okana its rich cultural heritage and diversity, it's also a networking event with opportunity for economic and innovative exchange of ideas. Today also celebrates harmonious living because bringing different communities together helps us to become more tolerant of one another, more understanding and more cohesive. The Old Glory 2018 officially opened. I wish you a great time of celebration over the next three days. Ejok. Thank you, Your Excellency, for that wonderful speech. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. You may be seated. We have a lot of people who are going to be here. We have a lot of people who are going to be here. Shere, sasa ndo zinaanza.
On the second day was Deputy President William Ruto, where the Turkana elders slaughtered a bull before he was installed as a Turkana elder. And that was only the beginning. We also hope that the next festival will be greater than the one which, which we, are, we just held. Tobongu Lore 2018 festival got even bigger and better than the last three. and the team was very much involved in the planning. But we thought this is a very good idea that we can be able to pick and take forward. The best we could do was to bring the beauties to this function and integrate with this particular celebration. That's why you can um, see the talent around all the beauties. It's not very easy to walk in front of people and to be able to speak in front of people. Congratulations to you all. You are all winners. Whatever happens today, you will surely not remain the same. Tukana is not just a destination, it's an experience that sears itself into the mind. And this is what we managed to get you. <laughs>